Amanda helped care for her beloved husband until he died eight years ago, aged 65. She campaigned for Frank's Law, a policy providing free personal care for people regardless of their age. But now she's learned funding allocated to councils for the care provision does not have to be used in this way. I refuse to accept that that six-year campaign was all in vain and Frankie's death was in vain because that's how I feel at times. I feel angry. I am, I mean, really, I, I feel angry. Last month, the Scottish Government confirmed around £30 million allocated to councils was not formally ring-fenced. Amanda says that's not what she was led to believe after a conversation with then-Finance Secretary Derek Mackay ahead of its rollout in 2019. His words to me were, Amanda, I assure you and I promise you, not only are we going to ring fence it, we are going to double ring fence it. In the Scottish Parliament this week, the First Minister insisted Frank's law will be delivered. There is a, a statutory entitlement to that, uh, so it is the law uh, that Frank's law, that's why it is called Frank's law, has to be met uh, by councils. In 2019, it emerged South Ayrshire Council had used over £300,000 earmarked for the policy to pay off debt. Amanda fears more authorities may have also used the money elsewhere. They have to make sure that that is double ring fenced. They have to. End of story. Because if they don't do that, they're shooting themselves right in the foot. The aim of Frank's Law upon its launch was to help at least 9,000 families in Scotland. Amanda Capel doesn't think it's yet reached anywhere near that, but she's still hopeful her loss will help many more people in the years to come. Calum Clark, STV News.